Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 5 minus x is equal to 5 minus x squared. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since this expression 5 minus x is under square root, so this 5 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0, which means that x must be less than or equal to 5. This 5 minus x squared, 5 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0, which means that x squared must be less than or equal to 5. And this implies that x must be less than or equal to root 5 and x must be greater than or equal to negative root 5 and in the simplified form x must be less than or equal to 2.24 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 2.24. This is the domain of this equation we use to check the solutions of this equation. So, we suppose that let y is equal to square root of 5 minus x and if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that y squared is equal to 5 minus x. We move this negative x to the left hand side then this equation will become y squared plus uh, x is equal to 5. Now, we substitute this y in the original equation, then this equation will become y is equal to 5 minus x squared. And we move this negative x squared to the left hand side, then this will become x squared plus y is equal to 5. Now, we notice that uh, at the right hand side of this equation we have 5 and at the right hand side of this equation we have 5. So, we can write uh, this x squared plus y equal to this y squared plus x like this x squared plus uh, y is equal to y squared plus x and we move everything to the left hand side then this will become x squared this uh, positive y squared will become negative y squared and this plus x will become negative x plus y plus y is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, x squared minus uh, y squared will become x plus y times x minus y. And uh, from these two terms uh, negative x plus y, we can factor out negative 1 negative 1 as common factor and in bracket left x minus y is equal to 0. Now, this x minus y and this x minus y is common. So, we factor out this x minus y and in bracket left in bracket left this x plus y and this negative 1 in bracket left x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x minus y is equal to 0 or this expression x plus uh, y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that uh, y is equal to 5 minus x squared. we have supposed that uh, y is equal to 5 minus x 
squared. First we replace this y with this 5 minus x squared. Then this equation will become x minus in place of y we write this expression 5 minus x squared is equal to 0. Next x due to this negative sign this positive 5 will become negative 5. This negative x squared will become plus x squared is equal to 0. Now, we rearrange this equation. So, this will become x squared plus x minus 5 is equal to 0. And by solving this quadratic equation, we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 21 over 2. Now, in this equation, we replace this y with this value 5 minus x squared. So, this equation will become x plus in place of y, we write this 5 minus x squared minus this 1 is equal to 0. Now, we write this negative x squared first, negative x squared plus this x and uh, 5 minus 1 will become plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So, this equation will become x squared minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. And by solving this uh, quadratic equation, we get the value of x is equal to 1 plus minus root 17 divided by 2. So, from this equation, we get two values of x. x 1 is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 21 over 2 and x 2 is equal to negative 1 minus root 21 over 2. From this equation, we get uh, other two values of x. x 3 is equal to 1 plus uh, root 17 over 2 and uh, x 4 is equal to 1 minus root uh, 17 over 2. Now, let us verify these values of x and see that uh, which of them are solutions. To verify, we use the domain. x must be less than or equal to 2.24 and uh, x must be greater than or equal to negative 2.24. The domain of equation is x must be less than or equal to 2.24 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 2.24. Now, this value of x 1 negative 1 plus uh, root 21 over 2 is uh, approximately equal to 1.79, which is less than 2.24 and greater than negative 2.24. So, this value of x 1 negative 1 plus root 21 over 2 is a varied solution. This value of x 2 negative 1 minus uh, root 21 over 2 is approximately equal to negative 2.79, which is less than negative 2.24. So, this value of x 2 negative 1 minus uh, root 21 over 2 is not a solution. This will be rejected. And this value of x 3 1 plus root 17 over 2 is approximately equal to 2.56, which is greater than this 2.24. So, this value 1 plus root 17 over 2 is not a solution, this will be rejected. And this value of x 4 1 minus root 17 over 2 is approximately equal to 
negative 1.56 which is less than 2.24 and greater than negative 2.24 so this value of x for 1 minus root 17 over 2 is a valid solution so we have two solutions of this equation